Hi, my name is David and uh, in today's video we're going to try a new format, um, a little bit like an FAQ and um, today I want to talk a little bit about ICC profiles and um, in this video I'm actually going to show you how to install um, the Ghost ICC profile um, for the Sublime Toner cartridges uh, on your Mac and um, but before I do that um, I would like to you know give you some general information what an ICC profile actually does. So imagine every device that you use whether it is your phone camera, um, your uh, mirror camera, if it's your monitor or your printer has its own kind of color space um, and um, uh, this color space kind of contains all the colors, um, all the shades of colors, all the halftones um, that the device can capture or show, right? So um, in, in general, um, a printer can't necessarily print all the colors that your screen can display, right? So let's say you're working with a graphic art screen that has a huge color space and um, uh, you're working with a standard office laser printer. Um, these two devices have a big different color space. So the laser printer will not be able to print all the colors um, exactly as your screen can show you all the colors. To overcome this issue, um, people use color management and ICC profiles actually help um, to match the colors and the color spaces of two different devices um, so that um, you get a better matching um, from your screen view to um, the final product view. Um, you know, I don't want to take it into too much detail here, but um, for fine art printing and graphic arts printing, usually not only the screen printer combination are calibrated um, via profiles, but also the paper used and the inks used in that special system are calibrated. Um, so for Ghost Sublime Toner, we're not taking it into that deep level, um, but what we have done to improve color accuracy on the designs that you transfer to polyester textiles or other polyester-based blanks using sublimation, um, we have created a color profile that can be used on the Ghost um, Sublime Toner um, with an HP LaserJet M452. So what, what you have to do is um, you will have to install the Ghost um, Textile ICC profile on your computer um, and then you can use that profile, um, assign it to your printer and when you want to print for sublimation transfer onto let's say um, polyester textiles or onto hard surfaces like mugs or whatever, um, you will use this profile instead of the standard printer profile and this will give you better color accuracy uh, and better uh, half tones um, and better contrast than printing without it. You can still print without the profile, it works still fine, you still get good image quality but with the profile it's much improved especially when it comes to contrast in the half tones and skin tones um, if you print like faces or photographic images. All right, I have the Ghost Textile ICC profile here on my desktop and um, I'm going to install it on my Mac now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new Finder window and I'm going to the Macintosh HD and I'm going to Library and I'm going to Color Sync and I'm going to Profiles. This is actually the folder where I want to move the profile in. So I'm going to grab the profile from the desktop, just drop it here and Macintosh OS asks me to authenticate um, uh, because I'm moving it into a system folder so I have to um, insert my user credentials quickly and then I can move the file and as you can see it's no longer on the desktop um, but it's moved um, back here into the folder. Now if you have any graphic software running like Photoshop or uh, InDesign or anything else just close that software and restart it again um, and then you can use the profile and you can also use the profile in the printer driver. This is how easy it is to just you know install the ICC profile on the Mac. For Windows it's pretty similar, um, hopefully we will launch a video on this soon. Um, once you have the profile installed you can start using it and um, we will have another video which is coming up in the right corner here um, 
uh, where you can actually see the profile in action and can see the difference between the print without a profile and with the profile. For today I say thank you for watching and see you next time.